All right, here with Craig Ingalls in beautiful Waikiki. Yep. I mean, was this race always on, you know, the racing plan for this year? Was, you know, how did this come to be? Yes. Uh, last year, I some someone messaged me on Facebook named Ian Sang, and uh, he's like, hey man, you come out to Hawaii? I'm like, well, I have no reason to, why? <laughs> and, he, and then he started telling me about this race, and I text my agent, Matt Sonnefeld, and he's like, yeah, sorry, it's too late this year, but we'll try next year. So the day after the meet, I think he messaged them and he's like, please get Craig in. He won't stop bugging me about this meet in Hawaii. <laughs> and uh, yes. For everyone's I mean, sake, get him in. <laughs> yeah. I mean, for his sake too, he got to bring him and his wife out here. And <laughs> but um, yeah, it's, I mean, like, it's a vacation plus a meet in the middle of December when I could be in Portland running in the rain, so. <laughs> what do you think of uh, Honolulu so far? It's pretty cool. We, uh, we actually went up to the top of that little peak Diamond Head, yep. Yeah, we took a trolley there and then hiked up. But uh, I mean, it's just so much better than Portland right now that I, I mean, <laughs> we're on a beach right now doing an interview. It's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. We got to talk about this uh, this Portland living situation you've got going for yourself. You've got this van life thing going on. Yeah, I, I, tr I started uh, trying to live a more nomadic lifestyle like, like Ryan Manahan. <laughs> My, my senior year teammate, he lived in a uh, he lived in a van his whole senior year. Or sorry, my oldest teammate lived in a van his whole senior year. So, uh, and we always talked about it. And I finally, finally bought an RV I, after looking for like five years. I finally found one. <laughs> <laughs> so, what is this van? What's the like the make, the model, everything? <laughs> we got a 1983 Toyota Dolphin RV. It's a four-cylinder, four-speed manual. So it gets like 20 miles per gallon, but it's from 1983, so it only goes like. 55 miles per hour <laughs> and uh, I mean it's got shag carpet <laughs> everything's from 1983 it's, it's pretty cool but I'm not living in it yet to anyone who's thinking I'm living in this RV no but soon enough I will be hopefully <laughs> so where do you take it around Oregon do you camp in it yeah like... yeah me and uh, me and my roommate went to Astoria the other day um, me and my girlfriend went to Mount St. Helens um, took it. I can't even remember. We've been. I've been like four or five little trips in the last couple months since I bought it. And so, is this like a work in progress kind of van? Like, do no. you kind of have some? <laughs> are you like trying to trick it out, or no? Just no, no. It's, a, it's like the first time I've ever bought anything that doesn't need any work. Um, <laughs> I mean, it sounds like it would to anyone else listening, but <laughs> it's actually pretty good, and it's only got fifty thousand miles. Yeah. Nice. Uh, so what draws you to this nomadic lifestyle? Um, I don't know. I did, like during this this base training phase, I like go on places in training. Um, you get to train with different people and see different scenery. And I figured if it was just raining for a month straight in Portland, I'd take it somewhere else. Like I'm going to Phoenix in a, uh, this month and stop by Las Vegas, Sacramento, L.A. But <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It just I guess it's just my personality. <laughs> yeah. What do your coaches, uh, or how do your coaches feel about this van life? <laughs> <laughs> well, Pete can't be too mad. He uh, he told me that when he was, I think he was coaching at Washington State still, he bought one for like a thousand bucks. And him and his, uh, it got four miles per gallon. He said him and his his uh, friend would just drive it to the Oregon games every weekend or, so, or tailgate the Washington State games. And I was like, okay, so you can't be mad at me for buying one. <laughs> <laughs> That's he, true. Yeah, yeah, he knows how fun it is. <laughs> um, and so how's training going for you? Training's been going well. Um, I've been doing the most mileage I've ever done in my, in my life. I've been doing 80 mile weeks and some really good workouts with Clayton. But, um, I mean, it, it could always be better. I could have stayed home instead of coming to Hawaii and got a good training weekend, but maybe I needed some vitamin D, who knows. <laughs> <laughs> and that mileage, what's that up from? What does that come from? Um, Last year I was hitting like 70 consistently, and then at Ole Miss was 60 to 60 to 65. So, um, I mean, I don't feel much more tired than I did in college, and I've been getting good workouts in. So we'll see. Hopefully, it's a good year. Um, what's been like the most impressive workout in recent memory that you can think of? Um, or one that did, really? Yeah, yeah. We you. did a six six by mile the other day. Clayton and I did, and. Um, 
the effort was average like 430, which is pretty good for us. I know some marathoners and 5K guys are probably laughing, but uh, and then we did 8 by 800 and average probably 207, which is I thought that was really good. But it's all about the rest. And we got 400 meters jog, and I'm sure people will hate on that. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's a solid workout. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's my confidence going into this race. After watching Chaz do all this, I'm like, okay, well, at least I have 8 by 800 <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so this weekend, are you out to win it? Like, what's the strategy? What's the, the end goal here? I mean, I've never really gone into a race, like, not looking to win. But I have seen what kind of shape Chaz Rex in. <laughs> um, and I mean, I'll do my best to win, but I'd be happy with second. <laughs> yeah. And uh, so next year heading into, you know, like uh, championship year, what what are some of your goals? And now your second year as a pro, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, this year we're not doing altitude, which last year I had a uh, definitely an off year um, because of altitude. So we, we learned my lesson. Uh, uh, some other people do really well up there, but I didn't. And uh, this year I would definitely want to do way better at USA's. Um, and I would like to be in the World Championship final. I think everyone's goal is that if you aren't, if that's not your goal, then you shouldn't be running. But <laughs> um, and then I, I actually don't even really have any time goals. It's just we're all focused. The Oregon Project usually focuses around World Championships and Olympics. So yeah, that that be the goal is to make the final there. And we've talked about meddling, but maybe not this year. We'll see. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you know, lessons you learn in your first year, for example, like you not, you know, responding well to altitude, that's like an important yeah. thing to learn early on. Yeah, it's huge. I mean, the Oregon Project like bases a lot of their training around altitude, so learning that that doesn't help me is very beneficial my first year as a pro. And I mean, it, I ran 336 off of the worst training of my life, so hopefully next year I can do a little bit better off of good training. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. Maybe some more van trips, but maybe not an yeah, altitude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> awesome. Well, uh, good luck this weekend and can't wait to see what you do. Yeah, thank you so much for the interview.